Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. It's October, which means winter's coming, and I live in England, which means the weather's going to be really bad. In fact, it's rained quite a lot recently. I've got quite a lot of painting and things to do. I don't have a shed in this house. I've got minimal garden space. And even painting outside in a cold, damp shed isn't great for your paint finish and generally letting paint dry. Um, so I'm going to build a spray booth. Fortunately, I have a spare room, but I can't just go and spray paint in there with rattle cans or with an airbrush because a spray off will go everywhere and make a terrible mess. So let's have a look and see what we've got in there. So here's my spare room. It's got various stuff stored in it, including mannequins and boxes of stuff. And what have I got in the corner? Well, I've got a nice empty space and I've also got some items. So these green things extend up. They've got pins that you pull out and the top part extends right up. And these are things you put a board across for painting your house or something. I actually had these in my, whole, my old house in the shed for um, holding up my workbench, which was made of an old door. So I've got some bits of wood. And I've got a very basic extractor fan, which I've already wired to a mains cable. I've got some fish pond filters, some dust sheets, and a bunch of conduit, which I've had for several years, which I've been keeping for just such a project. So first of all, I'm going to extend these right up. So we put the pins out. Quite sure how high they go. about it so just drop those pins back in. Alright so I've got a piece of chipboard which we can of course put across the middle here to make a kind of table. That should do and I've got two more bits of wood which I can put across the top so we can put a lid on it. And that should provide quite a good big area for doing spraying and all sorts of things. So it's fairly self-explanatory what's going to happen. Obviously I'm going to use duct tape, which is actually for ducting, and these dust sheets to put sides and a back on and the lid. And then I'm going to use my fan as an extractor to extract the spray off so it doesn't all just come back into the room and stain the carpet. So there's various theories online about um, the sort of angle of the box and the shape of the box and the amount of throughput you should have for its volume. I've just picked the cheapest fan, it was £15 in my local DIY store and I've just wired that straight onto a mains lead so I can plug it into outlet power. I've also got some filters here. So these are pond filters which are, you can see through them, but basically that should catch the paint so the paint doesn't just go straight in my fan and glue up the motor and make it all messy. Um, I'm going to make an arrangement so we can put this filter in front of the fan so it actually catches any paint vapour. So we need to rig that up. Um, I'm just gonna put this right at the back of my box and I'm gonna mount that on some cardboard and then I'm gonna take my ducting and I'm gonna take that out of the window that's just there so everything's quite conveniently placed. So I've mounted my fan in this cardboard box. So I've got the front here and I've got a hole in the back to attach my conduit to which is rather bigger than the vent on the fan. So that's gonna get duct taped on the back and then this can sit up nicely and I can fix that to the back of the box somewhere there and obviously there'll be polythene around it and my filters are going to fit on the front here so I'm just going to duct tape those over which makes them really easy to change rather than being somewhere inside. So I've just turned my fan on there so it's just plugged in and we can see yeah, there's a fairly healthy draft coming out of the back. Um, we don't want um, you know, a massive gale blowing through here, because if you've ever tried to spray paint in the wind, it's quite hard because the, paint, the uh, wind blows the paint away and none of it goes on the piece. We want kind of a healthy extraction, um, and obviously if we don't have enough extraction, then spray off is still gonna come back out of the front of the booth and stain the carpet. So I'm not sure how that's gonna do. It might encourage me to use less paint and do thinner coats rather than putting on loads at once out of a rattle can. It'll certainly be fine for airbrushing, and um, I guess if it's not sufficient, then I can get another box and another fan and we'll have a couple of fans or even four in the back of the booth. So I'm just using some duct tape to uh, tape on my ducting. In fact, duct tape is for, um, well, it's for ducting. So this is the ideal use for it, really. So we're just gonna seal all the gaps all the way around, um, which is what duct tape is for. Thank you. 
and I should have enough ducting here. Um, I've got it just hooked up here for now and um, there's a load on the floor so no problems reaching the window. Yep, there's definitely air coming through. So I'll get my filter fitted and we'll get some polythene on here and then we should be able to give it a test. I'm just going to zip tie these bits of wood on so we can get some tension on the polythene on the top and these don't just slide together. There we go. So I'm all set up, obviously the polythene is clear so I can use this big light uh, to help illuminate the inside so I can see what I'm doing. So that works out quite well, let's just move the camera over. So I'm going to attempt to show you that the vapour is in fact going into the fan. Um, I've got a rattle can here, it's rather hard to demonstrate but basically it is clearing the vapour so if I just spray randomly in here it's sort of sucking the um, spray off away which is great and it's also um, obviously keeping the smell out of the house as well. So a quick other demo, you might be able to see a bit better than uh, black paint on a black background. I'm going to make some smoke and we'll see how that works. I'm just going to set fire to this paper. Hopefully you can see the vapour's getting drawn away quite nicely there. So I do actually own two airbrushes, so I uh, hardly ever use them. Mainly due to not having anywhere to paint with them and uh, multiple guns, so and a whole bag of airlines. So I should probably get that stuff out and have a look. So that's going to make it quite a lot easier to paint up the panels for Hulkbuster when I come to making the proper chest panels and all of the pieces. Obviously I'm only painting quite small pieces, like the ones that I've already got on here, which are kind of this size. If I was to have something that filled the whole spray booth, then I'd need a much bigger fan, and I may well be upgrading to two or three fans. There's lots of stuff online about spray booths. The best one I've seen is on vulpinprops.com. You can see here that he's built a metal spray booth with proper big extractors in. He does quite a lot of painting of large pieces in one go. I also want to add that what I've built there is really only for clearing the spray off from rattle cans or an airbrush. If you're doing anything like fiberglassing with polyester resin, then you'll need to build a booth that you can step completely into, which is sealed on the outside, apart from a fresh air feed, and make sure you wear a respirator, or have a fresh air feed, or just do it in a well-ventilated area like your garage with the front door open. You should probably still wear a respirator for spraying, even if you do have some extraction, just because it's good practice, and that'll stop any stray vapours going into your lungs. So that's all I've got for this time. Check back at my other videos, particularly my Hulkbuster project, to see me using the spray booth. So we should be able to get some film of me actually painting the pieces now.